PD investigating a shooting at a North Charlotte sports complex is happening at Friendship Sportsplex off of Cindy Lane a Mecklenburg County Parks and Rec worker. Patrick Berenger was shot while closing the park last night. WCNC Charlotte's Megan Bragg is live at Friendship Sportsplex where she spoke with some neighbors who saw the commotion. What'd they tell you, Megan? Well, obviously they heard it and they heard it out or saw the police lights afterwards. But I got to tell you that this park has been closed all day. And the first thing that we did notice was these bullet holes in the stop sign. And they are even in that sign that says Sportsplex as well. We do know that CMPD tells us that Behringer was transported to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. However, they're still asking help from the public tonight. It's very frightening. I've been here since 2008. Gerald Jones has lived across from Friendship Sportsplex for over a decade. And when it's empty, my kids can have more space to run around. We, we take, I've taken the dogs down and walk around as well. It's a very nice facility that our Friendship has done. He tells us he didn't hear the shooting, but saw the aftermath. I saw the lights down the street. I just thought it was a basic, maybe a, a disabled vehicle of some sort. Around 730 Sunday night, CMPD says they went to the park for an assault with a deadly weapon call. They tell us an officer located a Parks and Recreation employee with a gunshot wound who was later taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. We reached out to the Mecklenburg County Parks and Recreation. They told us, quote, a Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation employee was shot while performing closing duties at Friendship Sportsplex. They also said they are working with CMPD on the ongoing investigation. Police are now asking if anyone has any information to call police or Crime Stoppers. In another incident, was as people in the neighborhood like Jones are hoping they solve this crime. Get the guns off the street. If in, and you have to hold people accountable. That's that's what it is. Now coming up tonight at six, we're looking at other crimes that have happened in this area. We're digging into those stats for you. Reporting live in Charlotte, Megan Bragg, WCNC Charlotte. All right, we look forward to your reporting in the next hour. Thank you, Megan.